What's happening, film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. All right, there's been some, uh, there's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of discussion happening today because yesterday, of course, we found out that Joss Whedon is uh, getting a writing cred for Justice League, which some people hated that fact, and some people were like, okay with it. I was one of the ones that was okay with it. I'm like, yeah, give the guy a little bit of credit. I mean, he came in, Zach, you know, Snyder wanted him to come in, and, you know, he's got to get some kind of credit. He's not going to get a directing cred because, according to the DGA, you know, you have to be doing more than 50% just to do that. So, and we know that he's not doing 50%, and regardless of what these idiots are saying but the discussion today was that he's getting a writing credit and i uh, and there's a lot of discussion we had I, I saw a writer talking about it if he's gonna get a writing cred that means he did 33 percent of the script and a lot of people are going wow that's really really high and then uh mr scoopy pants was doing his best to explain to people that this uh information is inaccurate but first thing down below guys there's an article from screen rant and i know like sometimes they could be on that weird uh clickbaity stuff like that but there's i mean there's still good writers on there. there's a lot of i'm actually uh internet friends with a couple of these guys and uh mr steven um posted a an article kind of explaining everything it's like a three page like he took some time and did some stuff with it so i'm not gonna go over everything but he talks about how the, the writers guild is a little bit different it's a little more lenient it's a little more scatterbrained it's like a, it's its own system i mean the director's guild is basically just like okay if you if you do less than 50 percent no credit but when it comes to writing there's some different things if you do 50 percent you have to be rewriting or yeah, rewriting a full on original script, not an adapted script. Joss Whedon actually went through this with speed. Apparently, I did not know this. This is pretty awesome stuff. Apparently, he rewrote 98% of the dialogue in speed, but the fact of the matter is, the plot was still the same, all the scenes were still the same. He just rewrote the dialogue so he didn't get a writing cred. When they try to do like you know, the whole bylaws of all this, when when they go to the writers guild, they said, "No, you can't do that because you didn't change the overall plot." So somebody could just rearrange the dialogue, rearrange certain stuff, but if there's still if the plot is still pretty much the same the original writer is going to get full-on cred i guess that's how they do it um and it and, and like i said it's like a it's a it's a long article i'll post it down below but i like uh, the last paragraph because it basically sums up everything if the case did go into arbitration then we could go back to some of the information we already know and get an idea of what corroborates Whedon getting that 33% mark. Again, the 33% is seen by the WGA isn't 33% of lines, 33% of the scenes, or 33% of runtime, but a weighed 33%, meaning even just one scene, if it's seen as the linchpin of the movie, could be enough to earn him that spot. So there's just like, there's just, there's exceptions. There's exceptions to the rule here. So, like I said, go read the article in full. That just kind of sums it up right there. So, if there's like enough impact uh, that Whedon has taken, which you know, if there's a three-act system and you got 33% a third of the movie, then you know, I guess those rumors that he kind of like redid the ending might be true. I don't know. You know, I guess we're just gonna have to find out in three months, okay? It's gotta be a little patient. But yeah, go check out the article. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the other channel too. Follow me on the social media stuff that is above my head. And of course I got shirts in the closet, guys. Alright. I'll talk to you later.